Okay, everybody. Hi, how you doing? This is Boomslang. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got a call from a guy. <clears throat> His name's Art. I've been dealing with him for um, off and on throughout the summer, and he wants to. Whoops, my bad. Almost missed my turn here. Wants to meet here at this Wawa down in Buna, New Jersey, and he wants to sell me some more cards. Uh, approximately 45,000 cards about 15 boxes he said so yeah let's see what we got I see I think this is his truck so we're here let's see where he is I probably in the store but I will text him and let him know I'm here Alright, so there it goes. I sent him the message. I got it, the money for him. He wanted 75 bucks. So hopefully he's got change. <clears throat> and let's go um, yeah, get ready to do the transfer. 15 boxes, approximate 30 to 32, uh, 3,000 3, to 3,200 cards per box. So let's see. Okay, I'm in the back. I'm in the back. Oh, there you are. I'm in back next to your truck. <laughs> I thought you might be inside uh, getting a drink or something. Oi. All right. Ah, you think we'll get him in here without putting the seat down, or the seat will have to go down? Yeah, I sent it again. It's just to be a wise ass. That's how people communicate. They stand next to each other and text each other. They sit at the same day and won't text one another. You know what I mean? Yep. I just decided that I probably won't put them in. Uh, we should probably put the small ones in first. I don't know. Just because the oddball ones will be sitting on the top, I guess. Let's see how it goes, I reckon. <clears throat> okay. That's cool. News good, news good as well, I guess, you know. It's all good. Alright, let's put this one here. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, it's all good. I like a lot of that new stuff I don't have because I haven't been I haven't been collecting. I mean I like the old stuff, but the new stuff just fills out my the gap in my collecting because so I just stopped doing it for so many years right yeah yeah just stack them in there however yeah I don't have any empty boxes yet but I did I so wanted to call and get some boxes off of uh, what's his name Fred but I didn't yet. So And basically you just you just wiped out the last of my cash with this. It says you just wiped out the last of my cash with this. Well I, I went to the the Columbus flea market and a guy had some binders worth of, of uh, some cards from the 60s and 70s okay. and some newer stuff but so I took him took all his his uh, 
binders. Uh -huh. And, you know, but there was some really nice stuff in there. And the week before, I bought some autographs off of him. Um, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't package the, there was a Tom Seaver I wanted. He wouldn't package that up. He wouldn't put that in the deal. So I went back, tried to see if he had still had the Seaver, and he sold it. I don't know his name. He's just Big a vendor. Guy. Nah, he's like from New York or something. Yeah. Yes. I don't have change. That's all I got. You're so. Yeah. If you want to give me credit on the next one, that's fine. I don't care. It's only five dollars. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Alrighty. Just keep me posted whenever. Yeah. So yeah. I just blew through all my I'm money. I've been working on you up in New York. And okay. I well, this, this was okay. I didn't even have time to call you. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, now I'm, I'm broke. I was saving money for the uh, show Actually, in September. No, in September, no. there's one over in um, Valley, Forge. Valley Forge. And I really want to get Pete Rose's autograph. He's charging 69 bucks, so I got to... Now I got to... And $30 if you want the... I'm sorry, I bet on baseball inscription, too. Extra 30, huh? An extra 30 bucks for that. So, but I'm just gonna get the 69. I seen him after he did that show at the, at the, at the casino. Yeah. But he was promoting the book. Okay. Yeah, I, I got his book and I had, and I then I waited, I waited, I knew where he was gonna be, and the autograph the book put me outside. Yeah, was he all drunk or anything? No, he, no? he was into it, but he was cool. That's cool. It was two hours, like a Q and A. It was the quickest two hours I think I ever spent. Oh, okay. It was, it was like that enjoyable, like. Ah, well, before nice. Before you knew it, it was over. Um. Yeah, I mean, you know, my son, a couple years ago, went out to Las Vegas. He was out of Vegas at one of the casinos. And my son said, Dad, I saw this guy. I think it was Pete Rose. He says, he was sitting at a table, and he said, Dad, no one was there. No one was there getting his autograph. He's sitting there. He said he looked so depressed. He's just sitting there like this. Like, right. I'm like, I don't know. I don't I mean, a lot of people like him still. Yeah. But he'll never get in the Hall of Fame. Nope. But you know what? They start letting the juicers in. Why not let Pete in? Then Shooter's Joe can get in. I know it's all. I have mixed feelings about the juicer because the fucking baseballs are juiced. Well, baseballs are juiced now. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, that's exactly it. They they use them guys to get baseball. Under, then they throw them under the fucking bus. Yep. Okay. And then what are they doing? What are they doing now? They got nobody throwing under the bus with themselves. They're juicing baseball their fucking selves. Yeah, exactly. It's it's, it's it's sad. It really is. I never seen so many home runs found. Boom, boom. Like, Quickest to right. 100. They, uh, yeah. They got right. two Yankees just did it within a couple weeks of each other, you yeah. know. Youngest youngest age to get to 100 yeah. home runs. So okay. we'll see. All right, Art. I don't want to hold you up. Yep. yep. Have a good uh, holiday weekend. And I'll see you later. Okay, that's cool. I'll give me a chance to get money back. <laughs>